Apex Legends Mobile, Rumbleverse, Knockout City, and most recently, Dreadnought. These are just a few of the live service games that have been out recently that have all shut down. There's also some games that have been canceled. And here's why I think this keeps happening. It's the main killer for me. Content. When you think about games like Multiverses, they had a lot of content when the game launched. It, I mean, you were getting new characters pretty regularly. And then they started to implement these seasons. And it was, it was a drought, right? Like you were getting maybe one character a season. So that's what I think. And when you think about other games like Rumbleverse, a lot of these developers, they have these great, these big, these aspirational ideas of having these games come out and just shoveling content in the player's face. The problem is content's hard to make. And then you also have to make sure the content works. And when that doesn't work, you have to take it out or you have to delay it. And then you have to put something else in later on. And players, especially us older players who probably have kids, and stuff like that. We just, we need that content to be just boom, 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 boom. Ready to go when we want to play it. We don't want to wait. We don't have time. There's so many games out there to play, right? If you're going to play a game like Rumbleverse, you're going to play it for a little while. And then you're going to go back to Apex or Warzone or some other game that has a battle pass. And these games just, it's harder for these smaller developers who don't have these big budgets and these 300 man teams to continue to make this side of content at this fast rate. So this is no fault of their own. Like I loved Rumbleverse. I loved Knockout City. Great games. You know what I mean? But the content's got to be there and it's got to hit. It, you can't just put content out and have it be kind of meh. You know, it's it's got to hit because people are going to want to come back and they're going to want to check it out. And all it takes is one bad time. One bad time for players to come in and have the content not be great. For them to go, ah, oh, eh, fuck this. I'm going to go back to Apex. Like, the content changes all the time. I'm not going to waste my time with this. So, and that's just the tale of time where, it, you know, no matter how many good things you do, even as a developer, it takes one bad thing for players to just want to cut you off. So, yeah, that's what I think is the main killer is content. Like, it's just really hard to continuously have that content readily available when you think about games like Apex Legends, the content comes out, you know, pretty regularly, but also like they're working on that content six months before you even know what exists, right? I mean, we've heard that before in interviews before with a team. When you have smaller teams, it's hard to do. You kind of need to, they don't have those teams to be able to do that. So this is my hot take on why I think like live service games, I think the era might be over. I think they're in trouble unless... More developers can have that content readily available before they even launch the game, you know, six, seven, eight months down the road. If you don't have that, it's going to be hard to keep going, man. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think the era of live service games is over? Or do you think that we're just seeing some developers that aren't able to kind of keep that pace? But let me know what you think. All right, peace.